reviewing My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. This book centers around 17 year old Samantha. Samantha, in a way, is used to the best things in life. She lives with her mother and sister. Her mother's earning a good wage and is like a complete and total nit freak. It's called My Life Next Door, as you can probably tell, because Samantha ends up falling in love with the boy next door, Jace Garrett, something she is forbidden to do. Jace, you could always say, comes from a completely different world. He comes from a family of like nine freaking kids. Eight freaking kids, I lost count. Of course, you know, coming from a big family, the house is like a mess, everything's disorganized, chaos 24 seven. And that's something that uh, Samantha's mum cannot stand. For Samantha's whole life, her mum has always told her, stay away from the Garrets, make sure that you don't interact with them, you know, they're trouble, this, that and the other. Samantha has kind of watched the Garrets for her whole life. So when the two meet, you know what happens there. A romance. The two worlds collide, how will the outcome be? I quite enjoyed this book. It was a very, very easy read, straightforward. Everyone that loves contemporary reads, lighthearted stuff, romance. That is the end for the non-spoiler section. If you do not want to be spoiled, click out. Let's talk My Life Next. I liked this book. Okay, thumbs up, but I didn't love it. I expected a bit more. I love my romance and I just need romance in every single book I read because I just, I just love it. I'm a girl, it's just me. However, I found in this book, it was a bit too quick. You know, two months in, these two are already sleeping together. Like, doesn't it take a bit more than two months to be sleeping together? Anyway, who am I to judge? I've read books that relationships happen really quickly and I've highly, highly enjoyed, you know, that relationship. In this book, I felt like I just wanted their conversations to be deeper and just the whole relationship blossom a bit better. I don't know. Like, I did enjoy them as a couple. If I had a ship name for them, it would be Samst. Samantha. I did like them at the end of the day. I was just like, they were driving me a bit nutty. Maybe that's why I didn't exactly completely love the book because I wanted to feel more of a connection to their relationship. I'm just amazed that it took them that long to meet. No one's really that close to the next door neighbors. Well, some people are. I'm really not. I thought that they would meet sooner and talk sooner, not take them like freaking all those years to finally meet. Even when they did meet, if I found someone on my roof, I'd be like, I already have a big that just be me. She was just so cool, calm, and collected to find a guy on her roof. Well, I guess he was a good looking guy, so put that out of the way. She's a bit of a stalker herself. The fact that she's been watching the Garrett's her whole life. <laughs> Can we just talk for just like a second about Samantha's mum? I just felt like slapping her the whole entire time. She was obsessed about vacuuming. Oh my god, you're literally just like a furball. Holy hell, my cat's just like my other cat's drive me nuts. I'd rather be in the Garrett's house. Samantha's mum to be so, so cold. And I felt like she really wasn't giving her daughter the attention she deserved and didn't really see the daughter for who she is and be proud of what Samantha, you know, has accomplished as her daughter. What did you think of Clay, Clyde, Blair, Tucker? Bloody hell, he drove me nuts. You know, the fact that her mum was having a friends with benefits thing with him going on. Ugh. But if someone suddenly told me, Coffee ready yet sweetie, crazy I could use a pick me up. You've been looking like a hound dog helping me out. Probably like a hound dog in you. You're ordering me to make a coffee for a guy that you just met. Samantha takes it so like cool, calm and collected. But she's so cool, calm and collected. I would be like, yo, I am not making a coffee for this douchebag. I just met him. You haven't told me what's going on. Who the hell is he? I can understand why people may be a little skeptical about the Garrett's. You know, here you have this big family, and I have a feeling that if you want a big family, you have to be able to afford a big family. I do love all the Garrett's. Uh, I especially enjoyed little George. I love when he was like, Do you want a big family? And then Jason, like, George, it's usually better to discuss this kind of thing with your parents. The Garrett's, they were really, really sweet. And they had so much love. I think love is so much better than being rich. Things happen really quickly in this book because Samantha's already in his freaking room. They've just known each other a day. I didn't know if it was kind of rude, but Miss Garrett straight away kind of says, oh, would you like to babysit? I've only just recently met this girl. Okay, let's talk about some of these characters. Samantha, I didn't exactly love her and I didn't exactly hate her. I found that deep down she wanted to escape her lifestyle. She wasn't 100% happy with it. I'm so glad by the end, she kind of knew what 
what she wanted and she was gonna go after it. Jace as a character, you know, half the time he was with animals and then that hobby kind of got lost by the end of the book. It was like a bit like Samantha had that hobby with swimming and we really saw that at the beginning of the book and then it was kind of lost at the end of the book. He's not one of my fictional boyfriends. I found him a bit plain and a bit bland and a bit normal, too normal. And her best friend, what was up with her at the end of the book? The fact that she just like completely ditched Samantha. Her brother Tom, I really liked how he changed in this book. At the beginning, you know, he's on drugs, he's whippy doo and by the end he's really kind of grown up and he's starting to get his head screwed on. A boy, a secret, a choice. So, the secret. When her mom ended up hitting Mr. Garrett, the way her and Clive handled that. Here you have two adults. It was absolutely disgusting the fact that they just left him there. And I actually think that Samantha, you know, having known, should have told, you know, Jace earlier what had exactly gone on. It was so disgusting. And especially how at the very end when um, Samantha's mum kind of owned up to what had happened, she came over to their house and then she just had to get out. How could you? Her mum, this is what I mean. If I had a mum like that, I'd want to live next door. I'd want to run away. If she was my mum, I'd just end up going to the freaking cops. I would not care about her position in society. How Clyde wanted to offer them like hush money to keep it secret. Are you serious? I felt like there was no real hype to the ending. Everything kind of got sorted out by the end and Nan kind of pissed off and she was still friends with Tim and blah blah blah. I thought there'd be a bit more. Her mum suggested moving houses. Just freaking live next door to them. Just freaking get along. Oh my god, I would have the best thing if I was Samantha. I'd just look my mum in the eye and say, Mum, I'm gonna move in with the guys. Her mum would probably have a heart attack. It should have just been the ending. The story would have just ended so much better. I hate her mum. Actually, no, you know what a good ending would have been? Samantha like rushing home and then like chucking her mum's vacuum cleaner out the window or out the door. That would have been good. I know her mum was scared about big families because her dad had come from one, but I don't think you should just judge it just because your ex-husband comes from a big family, honestly. Your daughter's boyfriend is not your ex-husband. Your daughter should be able to feel free to talk to you about Jace, talk about the things that are blossoming in their relationship and it's so sad that that aspect was lost just because she had this grudge against that big family. Like I said, I wasn't 100% satisfied with this book but it was an okay read. Tell me your thoughts and leave them down below. I'd really love to know what did you think about this book? Did you love it? Did you hate it? I'm Miranda. Thank you so much for watching my mini review on My Life Next Door. See ya!